What's up, y'all? My name is Devontae, and I sacrificed my time so you don't have to. Busy days, busy days, busy days. Hey. Yo, so check it out. Apparently, Bobby Lashley is no longer in WWE. This is news to me. I'm literally just finding out about this live as of right now. I just picked up my cell phone. I'm at the park right now, and I just found out. Bro, so... I'm actually going to react to this live along with you guys, even though I'm pretty sure you motherfuckers already heard it before I heard it. So let me just type this in real quick. Yes, I'm doing all of this live. Every last bit of it live. You don't like it? Suck a dick. Hang on. So we're going to use Wrestle Talk. All right. Uh, former WWE champion removed from roster. A former WWE champion with a contract soon to expire has been removed from the company's internal roster, according to a new report. According to a report from Fightful Select, Bobby Lashley's WWE contract is up within the next month or so, and he could be leaving WWE soon. Moreover, PW Nexus first reported that Lashley has been removed from the internal WWE roster, with Fightful now backing that up as being accurate. He is still listed on the public WWE.com active roster as things stand. Lashley has been out of action after suffering an injury in May, which resulted in him being pulled out of the King of the Ring tournament. According to Fightful, Lashley plans on continuing to wrestle with a new contract with WWE is in reach. Also, people close to Lashley say it isn't out of the realm of possibility that Lashley returns to MMA. Lashley himself has commented in the past that if the circumstances were correct, he would consider a return to his MMA roots. We'll keep you posted. Okay, who gives a shit? Anyway, actually, I'm curious. I'm curious because I know everywhere, um, everywhere Lashley goes, MVP goes. Hang on for a second. How does MVP? Because after that, I, I haven't even checked on MVP since the stuff happened with the, you know, fucking, um, the fucking racist stuff that he was talking about like a month ago. Um, Nah, it looks like he's still currently with WWE at the moment. I don't see anything in regards to MVP. Uh, what about the, um... Nah, the street probably should be good, because Bianca Belair is there. Alright. I wouldn't be surprised if MVP ended up leaving right along with Bobby Lashley also. But, um, yeah. Bobby Lashley is out of WWE is what it looks like. And it's crazy. I keep hearing people talk about, oh, well... Because that's how I got the news. I got the news on Twitter. And then immediately I started seeing, you know, what you expected to see. Yo, he's going to go to AEW. He's going to go to AEW and he's going to do his AEW thing. Bobby Lashley, you better not take his ass to AEW. Are you out of your motherfucking mind? Hell no, Bobby Lashley shouldn't go to AEW. One, dude has a credibility he has to uphold, all right? It's already bad enough for the past couple of months now. Actually, the past couple of years, he's been treated as a complete afterthought. The fact that we've never gotten that rematch between Bobby Lashley and Roman Reigns for the Undisputed Championship is a crime in itself, right? And the fact that Bobby Lashley himself being prompted up as the leader of the Hurt Business and not used more effectively after the Hurt Business stuff. I understand you want to put over Drew McIntyre. I understand you want to put over people like Big E and shit like that. I get it. I completely understand. But you still do have a commodity within Bobby Lashley. There is still name value to be used within Bobby Lashley. And unfortunately, they never really took it upon themselves to really give Bobby Lashley any kind of appropriate push. Now, granted, I would definitely say that Bobby Lashley isn't the spring chicken, right? It's not as if Bobby Bobby Lashley himself isn't what I would necessarily say he's not injury prone, right? Dude gets injured every fuck. I mean, he's injured right now, as a matter of fact, right? So it's not as if, again, he's in any kind of condition to maybe carry the company in the way that they see fit. I don't know. I be, I figure because he was WWE champion, you know, during the COVID stuff and whatnot, that maybe that had more to do with him getting the championship belt because, well, I mean, there's, they didn't have, they barely had any, if ever, if, if, maybe like a handful of house shows in 2021, if I remember correctly, but nothing that was too egregious. So maybe they just thought to themselves that it was a lot easier to put the belt on Bobby Lashley. He has the look, he has the aesthetic at the time Vince McMahon was booking. I get it. But with Bobby Lashley, I still wish there was something that you could have done with him you could have easily given in the same schedule you give guys like brock lesnar you gave guys like roman reigns eventually but also i think it has more to do with the fact that not just the age aspect but there is something about bobby lashley that does lack 
from an in-ring perspective whenever you put them in the ring with somebody to wrestle. I mean, me personally, I don't give a shit. You know, I'm not going to say that I grew up on Bobby Lashley because that'd be a lie. I mean, it depends how you look at it. I mean, Bobby Lashley came in the WWE when I was like turning 14 years old, right? He came in the WWE. I still remember his first match with, um, what was it, Simon Dean, right? He, he wrestled Nova. I think that's the first time I noticed Bobby Lashley back in like... 2005 i want to say that was around the first time uh, and then you know he did the stuff with uh with finley and then booker t when he won the united states championship and you know the rest is history i know he has some stuff i mean he was a part of that whole i like to call them and i said this before in the past you know the lost generation you know all those guys who are relatively no names still in professional wrestling today but were never really given the ball to run with he's a part of that list too guys like mvp guys like mr kennedy guys like the miss john morrison sheamus you could probably say fit family if you want to also it depends on how you look at that from a criteria standpoint you know and here you go you you have guys like bobby lashley he fits that mode also guys who are never never who are never necessarily given the opportunity to be on the same stratosphere as a guy like a john cena or a guy like a batista or a guy like a randy orton or a guy like an edge you know guys who were just there to fill out the mid card and when the shit came for them to actually hold the championship belt to be a transitional champion or to fill the void you know guys like bobby lashley he was always there you know what i mean in his case it was for ecw you know in his case it was to go up against john cena in 2007 at the great american bash still one of the most underrated world championship matches i've ever seen and that match never gets its credit it's deserved i remember people back in the days on the forum days when i was like you know 15 or whatever people shitting all over the match and i thought to myself that was a good fucking match what are you talking about not to mention that was the first time i ever seen john cena doing aa off the top rope i don't know i thought it was a great match and i still think it's a great match to this day 17 years later but with bobby lashley obviously he was never really dealt what I would necessarily call a fair hand. I'm not going to sit here and pretend that he was underrated because that's not true. He was given multiple world championship runs. Again, ECW world champion. Take for, take that for what you will. He was the star guy on that brand. Can we say that? And then obviously a couple of years too late, but former WWE champion won it twice, right? Also former United States champion multiple times, right? King of the Ring. No, was he King of the Ring? No, he didn't win King of the Ring. Booker T won King of the Ring. Duh, that's why we got King Booker. But yeah, he was he was given opportunity. I always remember, I mean, people talk about his world championship rings. People talk about this. People talk about that. Always remember, the biggest achievement of Bobby Lashley's career has nothing to do with world championships. Bobby Lashley's biggest career achievement was shaving Mr. McMahon's head next to the next president of the United States. We'll, we'll see how that goes shout out to kamala by the way bro that's what's up bro kamala harris going to the white house she's gonna lose that's what's up fuck with you kamala that's what's up bro joe biden dropping out of the race let's go let's go but now real talk though with bobby lashley right now people talking about going to aew and all this yada 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 i don't agree obviously bobby lashley is a grown-ass man he's gonna do whatever the fuck he wants to do if you're asking me my opinion as a fan I think he should go back to TNA. You know, TNA right now, after their Slammiversary show, right, has a lot of, um, you know, it has a lot of heat. Now, granted, I would definitely say with TNA, it kind of goes in and it goes out. You know, one minute they're, you know, every, they're the talk of the town, like earlier this year, you know, before uh, Scott DeMore got fired. They were, they were the talk of the town, then Scott got fired, and then they became a low point. Then they hooked up with NXT, and everybody's talking about Summerversary last night, you know? I didn't watch the show, nor do I give a shit. But at the same time, though, they're the talk of the town right now. And I know people are upset about, apparently, Joe Hendry. He lost his uh, match for the World Championship, which is fucking ludicrous to me because, well, I mean, guy's the most over person inside that company, but I digress. But I could definitely see Bobby Lashley going to TNA and maybe eventually getting the TNA World Championship. And then maybe if you build him up correctly, he can drop the belt to a guy like a Joe Hendry if you knew what you were fucking doing. It depends. I don't know if I have faith in TNA to do that because I can't fairly judge him when I don't watch the product. But I could definitely see Bobby Lashley doing something like that. Him going to AEW, like most of WWE guys who go to AEW, he just gets lost in the shuffle. Or 
Better yet, motherfucker ends up winning the international championship or the TNT championship or the continental championship belt, only to lose it most likely to a guy that's half his fucking size and with half his fucking skill. It's fucking dumb. I don't want to see Bobby Lashley in AEW. Tony Khan hates big men. I don't need to see his claws and his stupid ass coke nose or whatever coke fingernails getting all inside fucking bobby lashley's skin he was already treated like shit on his way out of wwe the last thing i need is for him to be flushed down the fucking toilet going to aew all he'll be used for is a guy to get ratings for aew because lord knows them having to rely on their own product oh boy we can't have that oh boy we definitely can't have that one now can we know we can't know yet so we can't but i am curious though i know people aren't gonna talk about this and i am curious with bobby lashley being in the situation i touched on this earlier you think this has anything to do with mvp not an mvp in himself as far as uh him influencing bobby lashley although that could be the case also but i mean like does mvp play a role in this mvp and bobby lashley are very close friends in real life right they're close 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 allies and i gotta believe wherever Bobby Lashley goes, MVP is going to follow suit, right? We're talking about like a Paul him and Brock Lesnar situation going on right here, right? They're homeboys. And with Bobby Lashley in this situation, do you think that any of the stuff that came from MVP and his rant on Instagram or wherever he took those questions from last month, do you think that has like some type of connection with Bobby Lashley? I mean, clearly maybe it has something to do with Omos, but I can probably look at Omos and I would think that MVP is an OG and he knows enough to say that, eh, well, I can see why they feel this way about Omos. But with Bobby Lashley and his situation with his name value, not just the injury right now, but all the stuff building up to it that I talked about earlier as far as the mistreatment of Bobby Lashley in regards to the booking, do you think MVP takes, you know, a little bit of offense to how Bobby Lashley was being used these past couple of years? Not just outside of the Hurt Business stuff, that in the stuff is already bad enough, but just his overall booking going from 2021 up until now with him no longer being in the company, apparently, allegedly, allegedly. How do you think MVP fits into all of this? Do you think that he'll end up being released next or at the very least him not wanting to renew his contract? Again, I gotta believe wherever Bobby Lashley goes, MVP is gonna go. The Street Profit stuff, I know that's just the work. I'm pretty sure they're homeboys in real life too, but they ain't going nowhere. They're probably getting paid really healthy. Obviously, Montel or Montel, fucking Christ. Montel Jordan. Did you care what you win? Nah, but seriously, Angelo Dawkins and... Um, Holy shit, it's not Montel. Fuck, I forgot his goddamn name. Fuck, 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 fuck. I hate when this happens. Wait, Angelo Dawkins and... Damn, bro. Now I gotta look this up. Street Profits. Fuck. Street Profits. Oh, Montez Ford. Butch! <sighs> yeah, they're not going anywhere because Bianca Belair works there and, you know... That's not happening. But Bobby Lashley leaving makes all the sense in the world. Now, I will say this, though. I did find it kind of funny that apparently listening to this article right here, the contract expired, and apparently it looks like. I can't really confirm that. Also, again, Bobby Lashley is his own man, but it sounds like Bobby Lashley didn't want to leave. It's, I, I remember, you guys can go check him out also. He's a chiropractor. His name is Dr. Boo Hightower. I was actually following him for like the past four or five years now. I don't, well, am I still subscribed to him? I don't even fucking know, man. But my point being is, I do remember him talking to Dr. Boo. And he was telling him that like uh, he doesn't want to do this for too long. That his body's starting to catch up with him. That it's starting to break down on him. And he really wants to retire. So maybe that might have something to do with that. I, I, I don't know. I mean, I know he says he wants to wrestle more. Maybe he feels he's up to par. Maybe he feels like he didn't want to go out like this. I don't know. But I truly do think the best home for Bobby Lashley to go to right about now would be TNA. And, you know, it'll help with that roster a lot. It'll bring some added name value to that roster right there. Now that Bobby Lashley's coming back, he's coming back as a former WWE champion. Not just Bobby Lashley from 2007, 2006, former ECW, now defunct ECW world champion. But he's coming back as the guy who is now the guy who shaved Donald Trump's head. Actually, no, I think he was in TNA during the time. Was, was he in TNA when Trump was president? Yeah. Yeah, he came in, what, like, 2018 with the whole, uh, the, the fucking mommy shit he was doing with, what, Sammy, right? Whatever, I don't, look, I don't care. My point being is, his proper home, in my opinion, should be somewhere in TNA, helping that come that company out, you know, helping himself out to a nice little payday, and, you know, in the end of the day, bringing some nice uh, name value to a company that right now could probably use it, you know what I mean? You know, you have him, you'll have Joe, you'll have Dolph. 
You have some other people. Not to mention, I think he's friends with all those guys too. He's friends with Dolph, right? I think he's friends with Mustafa Ali in real life. Yeah. Yeah, now I feel even more confident with saying that now. Bobby Lashley onto TNA. Hell yeah, let's go. Let's go. But let me know your thoughts down in the comment section below. How do you feel about Bobby Lashley no longer being in WWE? Do you think to yourself, Devontae, yeah, boy, I agree with you. The way they treated Bobby Lashley in that company, hell, it was a crying shame. Dare I say it was a little bit of the ray. Shit, so I think it was a bit of the ray. Shit, so yeah, yeah, it was definitely the ray. Shit, so. Or do you think to yourself, Devontae, you're a fucking clown, you're an idiot, oh boy, you're a cuck, you're just cucking for Bobby Lashley, you're cucking for the black meat, alright, you want to get on your knees and, you know, you want to do something to his dick, I, I get it, I get it, all the things that are usually said within the comment section has no connection to reality or to the video in itself, but I upset you, you're emotional, your feelings, get it out, most likely I'm going to trash you, or maybe I don't feel the need to want to trash you because I'm too busy jacking out to your mom's sweet asshole, that starfish is looking, it's looking, yum. it is looking yummy. That's me when I'm super unhinged right now. But let me know your thoughts down in the comment section. Or don't know. Let me know your thoughts. I really don't give a shit one way or the other. Bobby Lashley no longer in WWE. And yeah, that's about it. All right. I'm out of here. Got to go eat some ravioli. Deuces. P. Eyes.